Hello, this is Axel from Thunderbird Daily. I just released Smart Template 2.0 compatible with the current version of Thunderbird. I'm here to make sure that it keeps working in this service release until Thunderbird 68 mid next year. There will likely still be monthly updates as things tend to break with the changes from Mozilla. As you may know, Thunderbird is eventually going to phase out classic add-ons in favor of web extensions. This is going to be more similar to the way Firefox works. It will require a lot of additional programming on their side. This work must make the next yearly release extendable again. Once all the necessary interfaces are in place there, add-on writers can start rewriting their extensions using the new method. Watch my previous video. Will my add-ons work in Thunderbird 60 for details? Monetization. It is important to monetize add-ons. On Firefox, many add-ons were abandoned because developers were demotivated. They find they have to reinvent all their work and support users for no compensation. Smart Template is complex software. It has more than 10,000 lines of code in 20 languages and a support website with over 20 pages. It needs to be crowdfunded because you will rarely find programmers who want to deal with such complex work at no charge. I created the Smart Template Pro license to fund future development and keep up with the changes. I'm also planning a standard license in order to pay future rewrites. To help future-proofing Smart Templates, definitely check out the Christmas sale and you'll get access to premium features. We need to fight against monopolies by incentivizing open source software. New features. This release has one of the biggest change lists in the history of smart templates. I will drop some short videos that showcase the functions in detail later. Subscribe to my channel and enable notifications so you are sure to see the videos when I publish them. Here's a quick rundown. Attach. Attaching files. You can now add files from your template by using the attach variable. The easiest way to do this is by clicking on it in the variables window. It will prompt you to explore for the file and will then insert the correct path. Fields in create new message. You can now use your variables like subject or to and from in new emails, even when you're not replying to another email. When composing, simply click on the pink placeholder field in the mail to fill in or update your fields. I will do a detailed video on this feature very soon. Date format. A new function for building date strings for current date in new emails in an easier way. Instead of using a load of separate smart template variables, you just need one variable for inserting date and time parts into your email. Just add the desired date and time components into the arguments list. Optional address parts. Use the double question mark operator to make selected parts of your address fields optional. For instance, show the first name of the sender, but replace it with the email address if the name cannot be determined. Calculated time. The switch for adding time to a date has been improved so that days, hours and minutes can be added or subtracted from most date variables. This can be used for creating expiry dates, for time-limited offers or other deadlines. These were the top 5 new features in Smart Template, but there are more listed in the changelog on our support site. Read them up by clicking on the version number on the About Smart Template tab in Advanced Options. I will also link them in the description. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to Thunderbird Daily and hit the notification bell. There will be more updates on various Thunderbird add-ons and worthwhile tips on how to efficiently use mail on Thunderbird. Don't forget to buy a pro license to support the add-ons you find useful. Have a great Christmas and a happy new year.